Hey guys, today we're gonna go to Lucid at their Beverly Hills Studios. If you guys haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe and help support the channel. It will greatly help me on make more great car videos. I'm going to cover why electric vehicles have superior design and packaging compared to ICE vehicles. Traditionally, we're used to mainly three different size categories for cars and SUVs. Compact, midsize, and full size. Modern EVs packaging wants to rewrite what consumers think would be possible for the amount of interior space you get for the exterior size of the car. One of the benefits with electric cars is that the packaging is revolutionary when compared to the traditional internal combustion engines. Electric cars do not need a few key space hogging components compared to ICE vehicles, aka internal combustion engines, such as but not limited to engine drive shaft, especially for rear wheel drive and all wheel drive vehicles, gas tank and a complete exhaust system, etc. Even for new and modern car designs that favor using transverse front wheel drive layout, which is considered to be quite space efficient packaging for ICE vehicles, it's still nowhere near comparable to the packaging possibilities of an electric vehicle. When you have an engine at the front of the car, the most efficient and cost effective type of vehicle built is going to be a front wheel drive type vehicle with the engine pushed as far forward towards the front of the engine bay as possible. There are two key benefits to this strategy. Adopted by most manufacturers that are producing non-luxury or non-sports car vehicles for the mass market. The manufacturing cost is going to be lower than a rear wheel drive counterpart because you don't need a dry shaft sending the power from the front motor to the rear axle of the car. Also, this helps save space for the interior of the car when the engine is pushed as far forward as possible and it lowers the amount of parts needed, reducing the complexity during the manufacturing process, thus resulting in a lower cost vehicle to manufacture and purchase. However, the downside to these type of vehicles are that these cars are going to be inherently poorly balanced, which will negatively affect the driving dynamics. Most likely, the car will be considerably heavier at the front compared to the rear of the car. Also, the cars will less likely be willing to turn in while understeering easily because the majority of the weight from the engine is pushed beyond the front axle of the car. For many consumers that purchase cars like buying an appliance like a vacuum cleaner, driving dynamics and the feel and balance of the car is not a factor at all and that's okay to them. This is why most manufacturers produce these type of front wheel drive transverse layout as their volume product and cash cows except for pickup trucks which is a whole other topic that we're not covering here. But what if I told you that you could have your cake and eat it? What if you can have the best of both worlds in terms of maximum space, efficiency, practicality, and superior driving dynamics? With EV architectures, you do not need an engine, drive shaft, exhaust system, just to name a few. Depending on how many electric motors that are integrated in a particular EV, current mainstream EV designs could either use one motor all the way to four motors depending on the power desire or if all-wheel drive is needed. Also, EVs will have a superior all-wheel drive system than possible compared to ICE vehicles because the torque of each wheel can be controlled considerably more precisely because of electric motors allowing for extreme precision and zero lagging controlling the torque output to each individual wheels. This is especially true when you have either multiple motors controlling each wheel individually such as a dual motor, tri motor, or even a quad motor setup. Modern EVs use batteries with a skateboard-like design that is flat and mounted at the very bottom of the chassis. This allows for maximum space efficiency while maintaining great driving dynamics. 
The reason is because the current battery technology are still quite heavy, and when you have a flat battery mounted at the bottom of the chassis, it lowers the center of the gravity of the vehicle enormously, compared to ICE vehicles paying great dividends when turning the vehicle. Without a large engine at the hood of the car, many EVs are able to carve out that space for a front trunk, or what's known as a frunk. Also, the passenger space is going to be larger because you can push out the cabin and further into the hood of the car without an engine there. The same is true for the rear packaging of the car without a gas tank and exhaust system. Many EVs such as Tesla and Lucid have a secondary trunk that's underneath the normal trunk, giving the car so much more storage area compared to the same size ICE vehicles. These are main advantages of EV architecture compared to ICE vehicle architectures. As EV designs further improve, I'm sure that we will see greater improvement in design year after year. Alright guys, thanks for watching. For more Lucid videos, check out my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.